Welcome back. I hope you've had a moment to catch your breath, perhaps slow down your heart rate just a bit. We're gonna finish off with some cool down stretches, uh, focusing probably mostly on the arms and the chest since there's a lot of presses happening today, although I bet your legs, hamstrings are also probably fried. Uh, we're gonna start first with uh, a chest stretch on the floor. So you can either, you can do this against a wall if you wanna place your hand against a wall and turn away. You may also lay on the floor with arms in a T and come into a propped up stretch. So you've got a couple choices here. I'm gonna show you against the uh, wall that starts. I'm gonna place my hand firmly against the door of the wall and then I'm gonna turn my chest away. Just feel that stretch here through the front of the chest. So we'll just hold this here for about 20 seconds or so just to Get a nice little opening there. And uh, keep turning your chest away from that hand or the arm. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So let's go ahead and either bring the other arm to the floor or place that hand against the wall. And you're gonna turn that chest away, trying to peel your chest in the opposite direction, feeling that stretch through the front of the chest, the shoulder, perhaps even the bicep a bit here. All right, go ahead and come out of that one. We're gonna do another one for the front of the chest. So we're gonna lay down in a bridge and you're gonna have your hands behind you, uh, perhaps grasping onto each forearm if you're able to. And uh, we're gonna lay down in a bridge position. So go ahead and come down to the floor. We're gonna have our hands clasped behind us. And you may actually feel a stretch already without even lifting the hips. But if you wanna take it a step further, go ahead and raise those hips up a bit. And then just feel a little stretch through the front of the shoulders. And then go ahead and lower your back so it's pressing your arms down to the floor. So if you raise your hips up, go ahead and lower them back down. You want the weight of your back to press your forearms down to the floor. And you're going to feel hopefully a stretch through the front of your shoulders uh, when you do that. So uh, again, just let your hips up, press them down, and then keep those arms pinned in place. Try to bring your elbows as far behind your back as you can. And this should be a really good stretch for your front of the shoulders here. If you had a super friend or a partner, they would come and press down on your shoulders in the front. That's a really tough stretch. Um, but you don't have to tell anybody that. Okay, go ahead and make your way out of that however you want to make your way out of that. Uh, we're going to do a couple shoulder stretches. So we'll take one arm across the front. We'll hook it back with the other arm. We'll just get a stretch here through the outside of the shoulder just to counter uh, some of the front work that we did with the, the chest. We'll go ahead and switch sides, bring the other arm across, hook it in. Feel that stretch through the outside of the shoulder as you pull that arm as far back and hug it in tight against you. All right, we'll go ahead and place both hands down. We're gonna come into a seated position. Just go ahead and sit with legs straight. You're gonna bring both hands a, you know, a few inches behind you, and we're gonna do another chest stretch here. So you're gonna press your arms straight, press your palms into the floor. And you're gonna try to spread your shoulders and chest open in front, and you're gonna lean your neck and head back. You just feel a nice stretch here, nice opening through the front of the chest. If you have to take your hands a little bit wider or turn your fingers facing backwards, you can. I have my fingers forward. You can always face them backwards as well, if that makes it more accessible for you. And you can just tilt your chin back, side to side. Really puff that chest upwards, poke those ribs up to the ceiling. All 
Okay, next we're gonna move on to some lower body and hamstrings. So let's go ahead and tuck one foot in as you keep the other leg extended. And then we're gonna do a forward stretch across that leg. So we'll reach tall, then we're gonna fold forward across the front leg, reaching towards the feet. If you grab the shin, that's fine. If you can reach your foot, even cooler. And then we're just trying to stay long and flat, folding first with the chest, Keep the back of the knee pushing down the floor. Flex that foot just a little bit too. That will also help get a little bit more in that stretch. Lower your breath here. Take big inhales and then exhale and move a little bit deeper. And then we'll move this into a side stretch. So we'll place that elbow down around the inside of the calf and then we'll just kind of stretch and reach sideways. So now you're gonna turn your chest to the side and then reach that arm overhead and making an arc over towards your foot. Just getting a side stretch here. You can also just place your hand down if going to the forearm is quite a bit. And just keep turning the chest up to the ceiling. Okay, we're switching sides. So tuck the other foot in, other leg straight. We'll start with a forward reach. So we're gonna reach tall, turn, and then reach those fingertips towards your foot, your ankle, wherever your fingers end up landing. Leading proud with the chest, pressing the back of the knee down to the floor, flexing the toes towards your face. And we'll go ahead and turn this into our side stretch. So go ahead and place that hand or that forearm down to the inside of that leg. And then we're gonna turn the chest outwards. We're gonna reach overhead, get a side stretch, and try to arc that arm as far over as you're able to. Kind of sneak a gaze under your armpit. So take your armpit and really try to push it up towards the ceiling. And again, you can just be on your hands if you need to, but should feel a good side stretch, perhaps through the uh, back, the lower back here. That's where I feel it at least. You may feel it more in the hamstring too, just really dependent on where your mobility is. All right, and then we're gonna finish one last butterfly stretch. Go ahead and bring the feet together, knees out wide. You can clasp the hands around the feet if you'd like. We'll start tall and then you'll just kind of fold over and you can use your elbows to kind of pull them back into you to leverage yourself down a little bit further if you need to. I always find I have to do that. Um, some of you are able to just like reach and get all the way down, which is awesome. I'm a little bit limited here. So as far as you can go, keep driving those knees out wide and keep pushing the inner arches of your feet together. I'm feeling that stretch either through your groin, perhaps through your lower back. All right, that does it for our cool down today. Nice job on getting through uh, all of those devil's presses, whether or not you made it through L100 or you were super close. It's a very tough workout, uh, especially if you're very tall. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.